Shalom, 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 dear friends and believers of the Bible. So, please, I just want to us to reason out this uh, news. Now that Joe Biden has handed over power to Kam- Kamala Harris, the first woman to assume the position of a president in America, can what Brother Banam said be... Because remember... There's a difference between I prophesy and thus say the Lord. This one was thus say the Lord and we are watching. Can this be the end time? And if it's true, you or me, if this is the end, can we go to the rapture? Please follow the video all and drop your comments. And so um, this, uh, I won't have time in this meeting to tell you, in 1933, this is a woman's nation. It's a number 13. It appears in the 13th chapter of Revelation. 13 stars, 13 stripes, 13. Everything's the 13. Everything is woman. And remember, thus saith the Lord, there'll be a woman rule before the end time. She'll either be president, vice president, or it'll be the Catholic Church as a woman. I've seen her, a great woman. The nation bowed to her. It'll be one before the end time. Thus saith the Lord. Write it down and find out, you young people. See if it happens. If it isn't, I'm a false prophet. In the United States, history is being made. Kamala Harris will become the first woman to assume presidential powers after Biden transfers power to her briefly when he is under anesthesia. Biden will be under anesthesia for a colonoscopy as a part of a regular health checkup. As in the past practice, the vice president will assume power. This includes control over the U.S. armed forces and nuclear weapons arsenal. The White House described the appointment as a routine annual physical. This is the president's first checkup since taking office in January. Now, this is not the first time this is happening. The 25th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution allows the president to voluntarily transfer his authority to the vice president. Until now, it has been invoked on three occasions by two presidents. In 1985, George H.W. Bush was the acting president, while Ronald Reagan underwent colon cancer surgery under anesthesia. In 2002 and 2007, Dick Cheney became the acting president when George Bush underwent colonoscopies under sedation. Now, there have been concerns about the president's health in the past. Biden is the oldest U.S. president in office at the age of 79. But the health check comes at a crucial moment in his presidency. In a letter released by his election campaign in December of 2019, Biden's physician described him, and I quote, as a healthy, vigorous 77-year-old male who is fit to successfully execute the duties of the presidency, unquote. Now, according to the letter, Biden does not smoke or drink. He was vaccinated early on in, uh, against uh, COVID-19 and also received his booster shot in September of this year. Now, after returning from hospital, Biden is due to participate in the annual tradition of issuing a presidential pardon to a turkey. He will then fly to his family home in Delaware for the weekend. Now, joining us live on this broadcast for more on this story is we on correspondent Susan Tehrani from New York. Thanks for being with us, Susan. Now, firstly, I want to focus on the criticism that has been leveled by certain people against Kamala Harris during her first year as vice president. She has defended herself. What are the latest details you have for us? Yeah, so she went on Good Morning America as sort of a national platform to try to defend herself. However, that, you know, defense really didn't go very well. She wasn't able to do that. And part of the reason for that is because Kamala Harris doesn't have much to show for. I mean, on the one hand, you can argue that uh, Joe Biden and his team isn't really taking advantage of her position. But on the other hand, um, you can argue that, well, you know, Kamala Harris really doesn't have the experience and the expertise to be taken advantage of. And she's, uh, quote unquote, really not useful in the position that she's in. And it possibly goes back to the argument of identity politics and whether or not she was just chosen because she was a woman of color. And during the time that President, now President Biden, then candidate, Biden needed to pick a vice president. Uh, She was possibly the best choice 
considering, uh, you know, her identity being a woman, being a woman of color. And, um, you know, perhaps that's what she had going for her. I mean, that's really the the main argument, something that people don't want to talk about. Other than that, she was one of the first people who really stepped out of the primaries uh, to become president. And what, and a reason for that was, again, because she didn't have really the expertise and know-how, not only to be commander-in-chief, but she wasn't really popular among the American people either. So now we're seeing uh, sort of that collapse in her position as vice president. And I think as the president himself becomes very unpopular, uh, you see the domino effect in the vice president as well. You know, if Biden was popular and then this would happen to Kamala Harris, then you would say, well, you have an unpopular vice president. But because Biden is so unpopular himself, you have a 10 point drop in the vice president as well. You really see the spotlight on Kamala Harris not being able to pick up the pieces and bring this administration up and sort of be a backbone to Joe Biden because she really has nothing to offer. She really has nothing to show for during the last 10 months of what she's been responsible to do, whether it's been on the border or it's been on international issues uh, and elsewhere. Right, Susan. Now, this, of course, comes at a critical time. Just before Kamala Harris will become the first woman to assume presidential powers as President Joe Biden goes for his routine annual physical exam as the head of state, what does this mean? It, it's routine. You know, she's at the right position at the right time. You know, she is, uh, again, you know, if we want to play on the identity politics, yes, she's a woman. She's going to be uh, assuming presidential powers for a few hours. But uh, the reason there is so much focus on this again, and there is so much talk of it, notably on social media, is uh, because, again, she's so unpopular at 20 percent approval rating that it's kind of bizarre at this point of and time that she is assuming presidential power uh, at a time when the oldest president in American history is undergoing this uh, procedure and some are just, you know, sort of holding their breath to see uh, what happens. The procedure is routine. As you mentioned, other presidents have done uh, this. Uh, there was rumor that President Trump actually underwent a similar procedure as well, uh, giving the power to Mike Pence. However, he didn't want to make it public. That's according uh, to a book by his ex-press secretary whether that's true or not. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's why there is so much uh, talk and coverage around this issue is be because of uh, the news that's been surrounding Kamala Harris and the debacle that's been going on in the White House. And, and also uh, because we're waiting to see, you know, whether or not this colonoscopy not only the procedure, but what else is going to come out of this physical? Remember, a lot of Republicans are calling for a cognitive test uh, on the part of the president uh, uh, as well. They want to see sort of a, a full physical uh, coming out of, of Walter Reed after this visit by the U.S. president. And we'll have to see if we'll get that or not. And then perhaps this story of Kamala Harris, first woman assuming uh, presidential power for a short period of time would would have more significance or not moving forward. Right. Susan, thanks very much for bringing us all the latest coming out of the U.S. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move. If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Watch the clips and select one for you. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.